It doesn't get any more tension packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup final. Who is going to come out on top? The action comes your way next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's the United States versus Mexico. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for the United States. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. Here's how Mexico will begin the game. Well, they're also playing in a 4-3-3 formation, but they play it in a slightly different way, particularly in the wide areas, where their fullbacks will get forward and rotate with the wingers at every opportunity. Keen to take it short here. Now let's see about the cross. Well, they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Well, it's been clear throughout this tournament. Oh, he's in behind them here, Derek. And it's in! We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to Sabre. Yeah, here's the setup play. Well, it's a great little back heel, isn't it? And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Pulisic. And it's with McKenney. And back with Pulisic. Just the challenge that was required. Lozano. Lost possession. A real opening now. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Oh, he wasn't ruthless enough in front of goal. Keeper has it now. 
Good pressure. Can they make something of this? Way up. Now just the tackle that was needed. Martin. And they know they need to stop him. And it might be. And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. Over it comes. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. And problem solved for now. This might be ideal for the counter. Defenders need to cover. And just like that, the counter attack comes to an end. Vega. Henry Martin. Wonderful chance. Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? Timothy Weyer. McKenney. This could be the equaliser. But oh, what an important save. How about that? Well, at least he hit the target, but he should really beat the keeper from there. They should be level now. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, he failed to get it away properly. Jesus Ferreira. And take it away. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Can they take advantage of the situation? Real chance. And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Nil here, and the ball is moving again. Mexico. Chavez. Well, as those stats confirm, Mexico have struggled to get control of the ball so far, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. More defending for them to do here, though. Could reduce the deficit. And he does! There is hope for them, despite the adversity they suffered earlier. Well, here we can see just how good this goal is. It has everything. Skill, pace and power. There was no stopping him there. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Vega. Here's Chavez. Nicely timed tackle. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Pulisic. And it's with McKenney. Vega. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. A fine reading of the situation. Over the byline, hence a goal kick.
Musa. And it's with McKenney. Difficult to stop him. Way up. Well, the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. Jesus Gallardo. On the ball, Chavez. Here's Gallardo. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Could be a chance to break here. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. The high press was very much on. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Timothy Weyer. Serginio Dest. And support available. Quite simply, the cross was too close to the keeper. And there to intervene. Vega. Making sure it didn't get past him. Pulisic and it's with McKenney. chance to play it in and Pulisic has it it's neat passing confidence on the ball oh a goal he's equalised was he made for moments like this on an occasion like this Yeah, here's the setup play. Well, it's a great little back heel, isn't it? And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Well, it has taken a Herculean effort for them to get back to level pegging under these trying circumstances. Ferreira. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. McKenney. Oh, they've lost it. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Opportunity it is. And failed to keep himself onside, unfortunately. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Yunus Musa. And the flag does go up. Must have been tight. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match.
This attack looks highly promising. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. He has time to play it over. Under real pressure defensively, will they pay the price? Well denied by the keeper, but really he only has himself to blame. And they do like to press whenever they can. And they have possession again. Lozano. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Straight offside, but only just. And a throw-in for the United States. Adams. Musa. Just 20 minutes remaining now. An effective challenge. Rodriguez. Able to skip past his man. Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? Serginho Dest. It's way up on the ball. Well, they know they need to stop him. A foul, but advantage played. Well, in fairness, it wasn't the best of headers. Timothy Weyer. And it's with McKenney. Bodies forward and the break looks on. They need to get bodies back. Looked like an effective counter-attack, but brilliantly red. Weston McKenney. Now options are plenty on the attack. Is this to be late drama? And he takes on the shot and blocked for now. And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And deciding to go short with this one. Cutting in, what can he do from this position? Kenny and return to Pulisic tremendously strong in the tackle Chavez couldn't find a teammate throw in here Yunus Musa Jesus Ferreira and they're on the front foot looking for a winner near the end of this game not giving him a moment's peace. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. And Puna. Well, a good tackle. Opportunity it is. And fired against the crossbar. Well, it came to nothing in the end. So two minutes of stoppage time here. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Uriel Antuna. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up.
All rolling again here, the first period of extra time, and you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part of this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. Sanchez. The USA doing well to regain possession. Can they hit on the break? Well, it was a good counter-attack in the making, but very alert defending. Pineda. Plenty of options. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Well, the supporters think it's on. And Pulisic has it. Body on the line. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. Well, no escape, not an immediate yellow card, but the referee deals with him now. And the short option preferred. McKenney. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Uh, Mexico recovering possession well. Well, the attack looks promising. But timely defending when it mattered. And Pulisic has it. Can he put them in front? Oh no, he's missed the opportunity. And they remain level. Well, he just lacked composure there, didn't he? They should be ahead now. Funes Mori. There will be one minute added on at the end. He takes aim. Well, able to close down the shot. Half time in extra time. Well, the big question who will come out on top? We're into the second period of extra time here. Still passing it around with authority. And he did well to cut it out. Jimenez. Easy save. Committed challenge. Can they nudge in front late on here? He got in the way of that cross. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. Playing it in. Goalkeeper doing his job, getting the touch. Well smuggled behind for another corner. The clearance wasn't decisive. Well, it wasn't a simple save to make. Now can they counter clinically? All hands on deck. Chance here. Oh, a goal! Could that be? Maybe it's a story of one hand on the trophy at this stage of the final. A huge moment. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most.
What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. Top class defending. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Good looking move, this. And in with a real chance. Oh, he saved it. Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top class save. An alert intervention. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Well, pressing really high. And now it's all over! And they can truly celebrate! Because listen to this, they've won the World Cup! And they've done it with style as well. They've been absolutely superb throughout the tournament and they fully deserved it today. The world champions! It's music to their ears and music to the ears of their fans. And this is what you dream about as a young player and these players are now World Cup winners. It's absolutely magnificent for them.